Surgeon community, I'm Sarah McGlinchey, Content Marketing Manager for Surgeon, and today I'm thrilled to be joined by Charlie Blanton. Charlie is Director of Government and Nonprofit Courses here at Surgeon, and we're going to spend a little bit, bit of time getting to know Charlie. So, Charlie, tell me a little bit about your background as a CPA. Thanks for having me today. Um, it's great to be with you. Yeah, I started my career back with KPMG, where I audited state and local governments and then some private sector entities. Uh, then I worked for the Texas Society of CPAs, where I was in peer review. I worked for a publishing company, Taylor Publishing, for a while, and then Texas Wesleyan University. So I had a, a good background in governments, not for profits, and I've always loved that sector. Uh, and then I was approached by the AICPA to be over their government and nonprofit CP courses, which I did for, for close to 12 years. And then for the past uh, six plus years, I've been with Surgeon over the government not for profit courses. Well, tell me a little bit about what made you decide to uh, make the jump um, into teaching CPE courses. Uh, that's an interesting story. I can, I can answer it in two words, Jack Surgeon. Uh, Jack was, was kind enough and approached me and said, you know, Charlie, we think you, you'd be really good as an instructor. And I've done some public speaking in the past, and so uh, I was excited about the opportunity and, and started teaching and really loved it. Great. Well, tell me a little bit about what you love about teaching. First off is obviously interacting with, with CPAs across the country, you know, uh, getting to hear their stories and what they encounter is, is very helpful to me. Uh, but more than that, I guess, is just working with governments and not-for-profits. It's such an interesting sector to be involved with. There's, there's five standard series involved with the AICPA, the GAO, the OMB, and the FASB, and the GASB. So there's so much for practitioners to stay up with. Um, and some of the, the terminology and the requirements involved are, are rather complicated. I was teaching a session just the other day, and we were looking at a term there in the glossary and uh, the OMB standards, and it had 100 words to describe one word. And so, it, you know, anytime we can take something like that and hopefully boil it down uh, into more succinct terms where people can readily grasp it, I think it's very helpful. Uh, in this area, the, 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 the terminology is very complicated, the requirements are complicated, and people don't have a lot of background coming into it. So we really try to, to, to make things as easily understandable and applicable as possible, and hopefully save practitioners time in implementing the standards. Well, that's not an easy task at all. So um, the community here thanks you for it. And um, just so they know too, um, for our listeners and our viewers watching, um, tell me a little bit about some of the courses that you teach as far as um, the names that people can look for. Is it all of the government and nonprofit courses that Surgeon offers? That's right, Sarah. I do all the government and nonprofit courses. So we have update courses. We have uh, courses on the uh, single audit requirements, the yellow book requirements, the ASCP audit requirements, uh, uh, not-for-profit accounting, not-for-profit auditing, fraud and governments, not-for-profits. So if you want it, we have it. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. And just one final question I'd like to ask. Um, if you could sum up teaching in one or two words, what would those one or two words be, Charlie? Exciting and challenging. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for watching.